This is day, beloveds. Good day, good day. My name is Crystal, and I'm coming to you guys with a dream that I had recently. A dream that I had the night before last night. Um, and this dream is really speaking of, you know, the warnings, the visions. The prophecies, as God says in his word, that he will be pouring out his spirit on all flesh in the last days. In this dream, I will make it brief. Um, in this dream, there is a sister in Christ that I follow her, her page, her Facebook page, her YouTube page as well. And in this dream, she was standing on a road preaching and teaching basically warning people to repent warning them of impending doom warning them of God's wrath that is coming upon the earth and no one was paying attention to her people were going about their everyday you know movements it was like in a in a rural area in a residential area sorry um like it was in the Caribbean where, where I'm from but this sister that I'm talking about, she resides in the States. And I follow her Facebook page. So anyway, she was standing there, you know, just preaching and teaching and just, you know, calling people to repentance, calling people to Christ. And no one was paying attention, but she was advising them of a, a flood that was coming, uh, um, great waters that were coming. And just as soon as she, you know, just in a blink of an eye, very quickly, all of a sudden, water came from nowhere, from nowhere. And it was just like a tsunami of water that just came upon this place. And, I mean, waves, tall, like a, you know how tsunamis, you see tsunamis rushing towards land. That's how it was. And everybody was just, you know, crying and screaming and people were had to be evacuating their homes. And she and I, for some reason, were standing in the body of the water. The water did not overcome us to say like, you know, we were drowning in the water for some reason. But the water was, you know, just flowing and very, very furiously the water is flowing. And people were on either sides just you know like an exodus like you know evacuating the area and you know some people were mumbling and grumbling still even after they they saw that the water came and they had to evacuate their homes they were still mumbling and grumbling saying oh you know um you know the sister is not a fake and, and whatever and i was in the dream walking through the water i was you know approaching people to come and speak to them about christ and some people, as literally, as soon as I approached them, they just turned their backs on me. Literally just turned. And they stood with their backs turned. And some people would stop and listen to me. And some people, you know, I would speak to them about God, speak to them about, you know, turning away from their sins, speak to them about, you know, the gift of salvation. And, and, and some people, thank God, some people listened. And I literally took them by the hand and like, me taking them by the hand and them coming into the water. Because where they were walking was on the side. It was like on the pavement is where the water was just rushing and flowing. But on the on the sides where they were walking, like on the dirt road, the water wasn't coming there. The water was only on the road where, she, where the sister that was preaching and I was. And when I took them by the hand, when they listened and they opened their hearts to the word of God, they came into the water with me. And this sister throughout was just preaching she was still you know calling people to repentance calling people to come to christ before it's too late and this water this water is just rushing this water is like clear water sea water the water is just literally just flowing and very furiously but she and i were in the water and we weren't harmed you know we our footing was solid and we were in on the pavement in the water the water was sometimes maybe um waist deep or um knee deep but nothing happened with us. And I take this for, as even a warning for myself that the time is coming soon. We need to get ourselves prepared. We need to get our house in order. And a house is our life, our heart with Jesus Christ in order and turn away from the things that we are doing that are not conducive or 
for lack of a better word, things that are disobedient and not in God's will for us. We need to get serious because the time is short and Jesus Christ is coming soon. I hope this blesses someone. I hope you pay heed to whatever warnings, signs, dreams, or visions you've been, gi been given. That you ask the Holy Spirit to help you and strengthen you to turn away from the things in your life that is going on. That is taking you away or have taken you away from God. Because the punishment of not hearing, welcome my good and faithful servant and being able to enter in his, into his rest is going to be so bad. Nothing that and nobody that we're sacrificing and turning away God for is worth our souls. Be blessed in Jesus Christ. Thank you.